Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. So today, let's talk about how you can find the best stocks for your kids. And I'm going to show you some simple and easy methods that you can actually find stocks that your kids would actually be interested in. So look, if you're new to this channel, feel free to like and subscribe. I like to talk about money, I like to talk about investing, I like to talk about using your wisdom in a way that will help you to succeed financially from no matter wherever you are. All right, guys, so normally when we talk about stocks and we talk about kids, there's normally one stock that sticks out that people talk about all the time, and we know what that is, that's Disney. Now in this video, yes, we can talk about Disney, but I wanna show you guys how you can find more companies because there is a, a lot of companies and a lot of things out here that would interest your kids. You just might not be thinking about it in that way, so I'm gonna show you how. So we can get Disney out of the way. Now, one of the things with Disney is you gotta understand that they create a lot of different things. They have different platforms. They have a lot of different toys, characters, and things like that. So a lot of times with kids, they identify the character versus the name of the company. So let's say, for example, Lion King. Who was Lion King made by? Who owns Lion King? Disney. So let's say if your kids are watching something like what? Frozen, and you're trying to get them interested in stock, then you can talk to them about Frozen, right? So it, it's more so like, hey, would you like to own a piece of Frozen? Or if you put your money in Frozen, or you own a fractional piece of Frozen, or hey, you know, you own the people who make that video or that movie or whatever, however you choose to explain it. But just taking something that they're familiar with, that they understand, and then you merge it with the art of investing. So they understand it because it's something that they're interested in. So if your kid loves watching a Disney movie, that's very easy to start a conversation with them about investing and using those images in that conversation around something that they're familiar with. All right, so let's look at some more. If you have a kid that loves YouTube, but well, guess who owns YouTube? Google. So if you have a kid that loves YouTube, likes that likes watching videos, or maybe your kid loves to make videos, well, so then you can talk to them about Google and owning a piece of YouTube. Okay, and let's look at another popular one, Apple, right? If the kids love to be on their tablets, they love to be on their phones, right? So guess what? You can talk to them about how to own a piece of Apple especially if they have an iPad, like my kids do. My kids like Apple, and they actually chose Apple as one of their investments in their wish list and one of their companies that they would love to you know, put money into because they have Apple products. Or well, let's look at another one. If you have a kid that's a gamer and loves to play game, GameStop, right? GameStop, where you can go trade, buy different game consoles and games, and you can go trade games and things like that. Well, GameStop is actually a company that you can invest in. Just like Nintendo, who is owned by Nintendo. Just like Xbox, who's owned by Microsoft. Do you kind of get the picture now? Being able to correlate things that they're very, very highly interested in. And then being able to look at the company that owns them. So what you would do is you could ask them what type of things they like, right? So if your kid said one of the things that they like is Pop-Tarts, well then, Go look up who owns Pop-Tarts and see if they're in the stock market. And what you'll find is Pop-Tarts is owned by Kellogg's, who is in the stock market. And not only do Kellogg's make Pop-Tarts, they make Rice Krispies. Kids love snacks. They also make cereals that kids love as well. So you can take something and create a list of all their interests and things that they really like. And then you take that and you go into Google and you say, who owns this? And you'll find the company. If your kids love getting Happy Meals from McDonald's and they just love McDonald's fries, and they love McDonald's nuggets or whatever the case is, then guess what? McDonald's is in the stock market as well. And that can go for any age group from kids to teenagers, because like teenagers, for example, if they're interested in social media platforms, if they like Instagram, Instagram's owned by Facebook, if they like Snapchat. Now, I don't really use my Snapchat anymore, or I don't really know too many people that still snapping that hard, but if they're interested in Snapchat, well, Snapchat is in the stock market as well. Now, granted, are all these companies the best in companies to invest in? Not necessarily, but if you only bought one share, especially if it was very inexpensive, to kind of help them to get the interest, right? That means that they're interested and they have money in something that they're interested in. That's all you're looking for to start is to get them interested you want them to get interested into it and then you can teach them about making money and then you teach them about how to find better investments and things like that so it's more so just kind of that bait to get them 
interested. And you don't even have to buy a whole share. You can put $5 into it, 10, 20, wherever it is, depending on the stock price, especially depending on whatever companies you, you, you're using to where they may be have fractional shares as one of their features. So just taking companies, searching who owns them. For example, if you were to uh, search who owns Gerber, you're gonna find that Gerber is owned by Nestle. That's one you probably know as well. Well, how about another one? Huggies, who is Huggies owned by? They're owned by Kimberly Clark and they're in the stock market. So those are ways to kind of search and then find. So that is a real easy method to be able to help your kids get involved as well as their interest in picking stocks based off of their interests and finding out who is the owner of their interest and is the owner of that interest in the stock market. In most cases, it is. Even Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is in the stock market. Mattel, they own Hot Wheels. So I hope this has been relatively simple and relatively easy. Now, if you're new to investing and you're looking to start getting into investing, you're trying to find the best platform, feel free to check out the links in the description. I have provided several links and platforms that you can look at and you can research. And now some of them, if you were to sign up, you actually will get some free stock or even some free cash for just signing up. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Peace.